Have you ever thought about your own death? Contemplating our own mortality can often bring about an unfamiliar sense of fear. When contemplating one's own death, a mixture of curiosity and anxiety can indeed arise regarding what will happen afterward. What if we could experience a fresh start, much like waking up from a short afternoon nap, even years after passing away? What if we could conquer death and be reborn into an unfamiliar future world. Indeed, the realm of science is unveiling remarkable possibilities, and this technology is known as cryonics. What is cryonics? Some hope the process will preserve a body's cells and organs for future revival. Cryopreservation is the process by which any living cells, tissues, organs or entire bodies are protected from decay by storing them at extremely low temperatures. The idea is to preserve them for indefinite periods until the rest of science has caught up and technology is available to revive them bring them back to life and maybe cure the condition that killed them in the first place. Such technology, however, does not yet exist. It is a method of preserving the human body, or brain, after death, at a very low temperature, around minus 196 degrees Celsius. After a person's death, blood is extracted from the body right away. Then, the body is infused with a solution, known as a cryoprotectant, to prevent ice formation and placed into liquid nitrogen chambers. Cryoprotectants serve several critical purposes during this process. Firstly, they dehydrate cells by replacing water molecules within the cell, reducing the likelihood of ice crystal formation, which could damage cellular structures. Secondly, they alter the freezing point and osmotic properties of the solution surrounding the cells, allowing them to be stored at incredibly low temperatures without freezing. Additionally, cryoprotectants can inhibit ice crystal formation within the cells by occupying the spaces where ice would typically form. In parallel, skin cells, like other cell types, poses mechanisms for oxygen uptake. Oxygen is essential for various cellular processes including those related to metabolism and energy production and these mechanisms ensure that cells maintain access to oxygen even during cryopreservation however for the successful preservation of cells and tissues this entire process must commence within two minutes after the heart ceases to beat This protective procedure is undertaken with the expectation that future advancements in medical technology will have the capability to restore those individuals in the cryogenic chambers to full health. There are four companies in America, including the well-known Alcohol Life Extension Foundation and the Cryonics Institute. Additionally, a Russian company called Creorus is also in the field and is ready to provide body preservation services for you 
at a cost of $28,000. With a sense of peace, you can pass away with hope for a distant future return. An approximate count suggests that around 350 individuals are in cryogenic chambers, anticipating a new lease on life. Many of them also have beloved pets. The technology to revive the disease does not currently exist. Consequently, there are numerous criticisms associated with this concept. However, the possibilities it unlocks are vast. Cryonics charts a course for space travel to stars and galaxies, reminiscent of those seen in science fiction films. It also offers the potential to facilitate organ donation and aid in the preservation of endangered species. For our ongoing efforts to conquer death to achieve full success, we must remain patient and wait.